Dr. Maurice Cirillo has just returned from historic meetings where he took Southeast Asia by storm with the power of the gospel. God allowed Maurice Cirillo to sweep through some of the world's most strategic nations to spread the gospel, South Korea, Indonesia, Malaysia, and the Philippines. His journey began in South Korea, where for the first time in the history of the ministry, he met a five-star general of the faith, Dr. David Yonggi Cho, who is arguably one of the greatest church builders in the history of the church. His teachings and life have literally impacted the rest of the world. In this historic meeting between two heroes of the faith, Dr. Morris Cirillo, apostolic prophet and evangelist who has opened nation after nation for the gospel, and Dr. David Yonggi Cho prayed together, and it triggered a tremendous presence of the Lord. Hearing our need is what keeps us. The presence of our Father God is what keeps us. I ask for something new and fresh in Joe's life and ministry and family. I ask it as your servant and as your prophet. I ask something new, something fresh, something he has never experienced before. Dr. Cho called Dr. Cirillo a trailblazer. Then Dr. Cirillo prophesied to Dr. Cho that something totally fresh and new was on its way to him for the next stage of Dr. Cho's ministry. Finally, Dr. Cirillo unfolded the legacy plan and vision and received agreement and encouragement from the pastor of pastors, Dr. Cho. Then it was off to Jakarta, Indonesia, the world's largest Muslim country, where Maurice Cirillo proclaimed, Indonesia belongs to Christ. Maurice Cirillo spoke before a packed room, filled with Indonesian nationals, burdened to support Israel, and to be among the first to help launch the Legacy Center's great Jewish pavilion. Later, Maura Cirillo spoke before thousands of Indonesians packed into the Balai Samadera Auditorium, lifting their cry to heaven. Here, Maura Cirillo proclaimed for Indonesia and God's people, release and restoration. The pageantry of anointed prophetic dancers was astounding. Dr. Cirillo then journeyed to Semarang, where he prophetically declared, it is finished, and spoke how God was bringing a season of blessing to his people. His message was embraced with tears at the altar, with a mighty resurrection touch on bodies, mind, and hearts, as well as finances. Dr. Cirillo prayed over his son in the ministry, Petrus Agung, and the amazing Holy Stadium project that includes a school and hospital. Malaysia belongs to Jesus Christ. In Malacca, Dr. Cirillo imparted the covenant anointing to a tightly packed crowd as they committed to reach all of Malaysia for Jesus Christ. 30 years ago, Pastor Lim, senior pastor of Calvary Life Assembly Church, was inspired to sell his car and come to San Diego for the Mara Cirillo 1994 World Conference. Highly impacted by Dr. Cirillo, he returned to Malacca and established a ministry that now reaches thousands upon thousands in Malacca and other parts of Malaysia and Asia. This church was a product of God. That is why tonight so you know, Jingtian Wan Shang Gates of Hell Tigala Yun Tin the Men Pena Punango Prevail Sing War against the church. Sing what you wait. Oh my God. What a son. Somebody. What a son. Give him praise. Don't need her.
want to take a little journey with you before I pray for you tonight. Not going to talk very long. Two thousand years ago. This church. Greeks. Almost the whole known. World. We have some seven billion people. While you and I sit here enjoying the awesome presence of God. We have Hearing me? Can you hear me? One half of this world today have never yet one time heard the name Jesus. I love you. I wouldn't hurt you. For anything. Let me tell you. Something is wrong. In Kuala Lumpur, a heavy cloud of God's glory almost made it too difficult to stand as Dr. Cirillo unfolded a personal story of the power of faithfulness, giving the testimony of Ethel Kerr, the woman who would witness to him about Jesus Christ in a Jewish orphanage and who would obey God to ignite a fire for the gospel that is still burning brightly after 68 years. Father and son Raymond Mui joined with Dr. Cirillo and discussed breakthroughs in Myanmar, Japan, and Thailand. Together, they proclaimed, Malaysia belongs to Jesus Christ. The mission continued as Dr. Cirillo journeyed to the Philippines. Here, Dr. Cirillo held a private gathering for coordinators of Maurice Cirillo's global satellite network and God's victorious army. He took them deep as intimate friends into his experiences of faith obedience and sacrifice. Det Sison, director of the Maurice Cirillo Global Satellite Network of the Philippines, was there to testify to the impact of Dr. Cirillo's ministry and the effect it's having in the Philippines and many other nations from Saudi Arabia to Hong Kong to Papua New Guinea. The Philippines belong to Jesus. Partner, on this most recent trip, the glory of God was so tangible, so real, Lives were transformed, souls were saved, healed, and delivered. All of this happened because of your faithful support and prayers. Morris Cirillo could not have impacted the lives God has allowed him to reach without you. The 2020 vision has now become a reality for thousands who requested more information on Morris Cirillo's International Legacy Training Center. These nationals are so excited to be among the first to be invited and receive training at the Legacy Center. Continue to pray for God's servant and prophet, Dr. Morris Cirillo.